tacos and salsa is an authentic Northside taco joint making everything from scratch. Like their killer trash can taco that's next level delicious. A fresh flour tortilla gets a layer of refried beans that gets topped with potatoes and eggs, house-made carne quesada, crispy bacon pieces, and finished with shredded cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna put some of that ghost pepper sauce on there right on top. And that's a big taco. Oh, oh my goodness. That's everything you want it to be and more. That is phenomenal. I mean, you're hitting all the marks. You want, you want it gooey, salty, you want it crunchy. You got everything. Wow. You can't come back from this. You want, this is the only thing you'll get. Also on the menu, a freshly baked tostada topped with beans, house-made barbacoa, an over-easy egg, ranchero sauce, and a big spoonful of fresh avocado. Look at this. That's on point. That is really, really good. That barbacoa is fantastic. Their breakfast tacos are on a whole other level than any other taco spot on the north side. This is my go-to. This is the one. This is the quesada and cheese mixed together. You can see it's just huge chunks of meat that are in there. I mean, this is legit. That is next level delicious. The sauce is where it's at. Perfectly cooked meat, just melts in your mouth. Wow. But their street tacos mixed with their fresh salsa makes them stand out from all other taco spots in SA. And it's not just breakfast tacos out here. Check this out. They also do mini tacos as well. You have rice beans on the side. Different kinds of salsa on there. They have a roasted, a salsa verde. They also have a habanero ghost. And they also have a pico de gallo. And just a roja. Just a straightforward one. But I'm going to go for a little bit of the bear here on this one. Bam. That's delicious, man. The taco has great flavor. Salsa has great flavor. A little bit of spice to it, but not too much. I mean, the meat, my goodness. Tacos and Salsa offers cheesy alambre tacos and alambre nachos. The alambre nacho, and this thing is massive. I mean, you can feed two people with one plate. And the alambre, it's the onions, the bacon, the peppers all mixed together with the cheese. You got the beef on there as well. It's a little bit of fajita beef. And then you have the guac right on top, fresh pico de gallo. I mean, this looks delicious. Ooh. <laughs> that looks really good. That's fantastic. Not real good. And if you're looking for something on the lighter side, they got that too. I'm trying to watch my weight, so no tortillas, but um, steak, eggs, spinach, all mixed together with fresh guacamole, good stuff. And salsas to choose from, it's great. We also offer a healthy menu. We have a delicious quinoa bowl. We also have a poblano bowl. You can also have your taco in a bowl without the tortilla. What did you have to eat today? The um, chicken quinoa bowl, which is amazing. Oh, Nobody I didn't know they had that. Tacos and salsa has been in San Antonio for more than five years, but they've been making tacos here in Texas for more than 25 years years. So 25 years ago, it actually it was a month before we got married, it was in Corpus Christi where we started. This location has been here for five years and we're, we love this place. We have customers that come here weekly, some come here daily, and all walks of life. And that's what I love about our little, beautiful little restaurant. And the name Trash Can Taco? We were able to trademark it. We created a taco that has uh, a little bit of everything. From freshly fried crispy tacos to alambre nachos and carne quesada tacos. Tacos and salsa! Tacos and Salsa has it all. This is where it's at. It was great, excellent, highly recommended. So you guys gotta come out here, right here on the north side, Tacos and Salsa, the Alambre Nachos. You can get their trash can taco, which they have the patent and trademark on. Everything here is delicious. Rice and beans, fantastic. I mean, and the amount of salsa options that you get when you come out here. It's next level, man. This is your next breakfast spot. This is your next lunch spot. You guys gotta check them out. Now, we're driving to Atkins, Texas for a burger joint that is home to possibly the best burgers in Bear County. This is Kai Caster Country Store and Grill. I'm out here at Kai Caster Country Store and Grill. Check this out. 
Bam! Now that's a big plate or tray, whatever you want to call it, of burgers. We got a chicken sandwich on there. And not just any chicken sandwich, it's a fried chicken sandwich. They got house-made pickles, house-made jalapenos on here, and they're locally sourcing their beef, so it's just high-quality stuff. And they have poutine on the menu. If you're not familiar with it, it's gravy, cheese curds, and fries, all right? That's all you need to know. It's delicious. They're making all this right here, though. This place out in the middle of nowhere, and they're doing this. I'm excited. We're going to jump right in here. And the beast on the menu is their classic double burger. Artisan brioche buns get toasted, and two locally sourced all-beef patties get sizzling on a flat top. Then, the toasted buns get dressed with mayonnaise, ketchup, lettuce, tomatoes, homemade dill pickles, and red onions. That's a salad on there, man. It is. That's the patties get added, and it's ready to go. Now, this one right here is the creme de la creme, all right? This one right here is a classic burger, but it's a double version of the classic burger. Check that out. That thing looks like it's about to talk to you, like it's alive. Look, at it. it's got, it was dripping on, making a mess on the floor, but it's got everything in there that you would want. It's like a little salad on this thing. That is amazing. It is well-rounded on every level of flavor. Sweet, savory, salty. It's, the textures are fantastic. The little dill pickles have a great texture to them. The bread, of course, it's toasted, so it's delicious. And it's the, the quality of everything. You can really tell the freshness when you bite into it. And just the smell of it alone, ah, that just smells like good times right there. Also on the menu, a fried chicken sandwich. The official name is the Kai Caster Fried Chicken Sandwich. They're not playing games. That's a straightforward name. This has the bread and butter pickles. You got the fried chicken. And I mean, it's this really simple dress, but it's what you want because the chicken's gonna stand out, all right? The seasonings in the marinade on the chicken. Here's the bite though. That is really good, y'all. The mayonnaise mixed with the pickles, it's unbelievable. It's like a nice vinegar bite on there. The texture on the outside of that chicken, the fry, it's perfect, it's crunchy, it's delicious. Everything's perfectly salty, and that bread is delicious. And their jalapeno popper burger is why you need to get in your car right now and drive here. Coming up, I keep exploring the menu at Kai Caster Country Store and Grill, plus we get an authentic taste of Mexico City. Stay right here on Elder Eats. I'm out here at Kai Caster Country Store and Grill. Check this out. Bam! Now that's a big plate or tray, whatever you want to call it, of burgers. The whole business has been open since uh, two Octobers ago. We've been serving lunch now for about seven months, and dinner's coming soon. Scott is a trained chef and CIA graduate, and you can tell when you take your first bite. All right, if you want something that's going to put you to sleep, though, all right, you're going to take a little nappy afterwards. Look at that one. That is the fat burger. This one's got bacon, eggs, American cheese, French fries, and a slice of their delicious beef that they're sourcing out here locally, some bacon. I mean. This is what you want when you're hungry. This is like the ultimate breakfast brunch meets delicious burger combination. That's amazing. There's a lot of really good things going on here, but that sriracha mayo on the bottom sets it over the top. Now, we just said it earlier, if you don't know what poutine is, it's okay. It's French fries, it's a brown gravy, cheese curds. It's delicious. There you go, the poutine. This tastes like grandma made it. You know what I mean? Like this is just make you feel better if you're having a bad day food. This is phenomenal, you guys. You really have something special. You guys gotta come out of here. I'm telling you, these are the best burgers I've had doing this show. Phenomenal. Those are big words, but I'm not lying. You come out here, you try them. The ingredients are fantastic. It's located close to South 1604. It's right here in Atkins, Texas. I mean, it's a 30 minute drive from downtown. It is worth the drive. Come out here, take a trip, take the family with you, bring the dog. They got a little outside area. <laughs> bring the cat too, okay? And I mean, everything is a home run here. Now, we're getting a quick bite at Triple T's. That's tacos, tostadas, and tortas at Park North next to Target. 
this locally owned Mexican restaurant is not Tex-Mex. They're serving authentic recipes from Mexico City. This right here is called a costra de queso. Now this is an authentic dish of Mexico City, but you can get it right here in San Antonio. It's like a tortilla made of cheese. All right, and you can put meat inside of it. You put the guac on top. They got the fresh cheese that goes on top of this as well. It's cheese with cheese on it. It doesn't get any better that with meat inside. They're also making all their own sauces here fresh in house. Check this out. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ride the lightning here. We're just gonna put that right on top. Yeah, that looks great. Here we go. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's crunchy cheese with hot meat inside with the cheese on top. That salsa is spicy though. This is magical. It's like eating in a like at a small little place in Durango, Mexico. You guys come out here to Park North. You can come out here to Triple T's. Great food, authentic flavors, great sodas as well, and just a really good environment. Great Thank people. You. Yeah, it's Thank delicious. You Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, watch out for the spicy salsa. It is, it is spicy. <laughs> That's for real. I'm gonna have to drink this whole thing now. Coming up. Smashing Crab shows us the bounty of the sea, a new dish that's going to be available starting soon, and how you can get your hands on some tasty crawfish. Stay tuned right here on Elder Eats. Bounty of the sea right in front of you. Look at this. We got every crustacean possible and boiled it and presented it to you. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, right? Joining me today is Derek Stillis, co-owner over there at Smashing Crab, and you have brought a smorgasbord. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I like to call this our unicorn yeah. uh, because you can't find this anywhere else. And we only serve it at one of our locations, uh, the Stone Oak location. Yeah. But this has got almost everything we serve Look at in it. the store. Yeah. I mean, Dungeness crab, lobsters, corn, potatoes. You have like the king crab hanging out the side here. Snow crab, uh, black mussels, clams, lots of shrimp, and then all the fixings. And we top Woo. it with our... Uh, our house sauce. Uh, you get a eating. couple different choices you can make. <laughs> I know, don't stop. Why would I'm you not, stop? I'm not going to stop. But you got this, all this. I mean, um, look at that. It's delicious. And this feeds a family of 50. I mean, like, you're going to really get, if you're hungry. Not, not in my family, but <laughs> some families, yes. But if you have uh, friends and family, uh -huh. and most people do, uh, you come in and, and get this, and you're set. I, I mean, it. you're sitting down for a couple hours today. Yeah. Don't bother me. This is a showstopper right here, Derek. Yeah. Now, you also got right here, it's crawfish season. You oh, guys are yeah. serving up the crawfish. And you got some, oh, you're going to go for one of those. Look at that. You went for the big boy, too. I'm not messing around. And, you know, and it's Lent right now. So if, if you are if you know you got to eat the seafood on Fridays, you know, mm. there's different options as well. Right here, we got a shrimp po' boy. Yeah. And these two options here in the front are available at both locations. But the actual bounty of the sea is available only at the Stone Oak location. Only at the Stone Oak location, yeah. Our crawfish guy is getting us some fat crawfish right now, and yeah. why wouldn't you come in? This is the heart of the season, and especially for Lent. Yeah. Um, any day, not just Friday. Yeah. We've got terrific oh. uh, pole boy sandwiches with all the fixings. Uh, but don't forget appetizers. Yeah. Terrific oysters from I mean, Mama Louisiana. Look at that. And, and you got a little uh, cocktail sauce there, oh, too. And that cocktail sauce. Look, I'm just going to knock you on your backside. I'm going to put my little You wait. <laughs> oh, you wait. <laughs> I mean, Derek. You're knocking it out of the park, you guys over there. This is probably the greatest display of seafood I've ever seen in my whole life. And you guys can go get a hold of this right now at the Stone Oak location of Smashing Crab. And of course, crawfish season's happening, so you can get your crawfish, you can get your shrimp full, boys. You can get all it all. Stuff. Bounty of the Sea is available April 1st. April at the Stone Oak 1st. Location. And now you know. And which one's your favorite? If you had to pick one in here, what would you be going for first? This one. <laughs> All of it. All this one, is right? a body built by food. Lots <laughs> of it. I know how to work this stuff, so. That's awesome. Derek, you rock. Thank you so much for coming out here today. You guys, Smashing Crab is offering this now starting April 1st, Bounty of the Sea. And we'll be right back with more Elder Eats here when we return. Mm, let me keep can't, you. Can't stop. Welcome back to Elder Eats. Well, we have a tie right now on Munch Madness on the Food Truck Bracket Challenge happening on eldereats.com. And now what we're going to do is Smoke Shack is Heads, Mesquite Shack Barbecue Tails. Here we go. Here's the coin toss to determine who is the winner moving forward in the Food Truck Bracket Challenge. Stay on it, y'all. Here we go. Oh! Smoke Shack. Okay. I Smoke remember. Shack. You won. You're going forward. Thank you so much, Mesquite Shack. You're crazy, man. You guys got to tie both rounds. But Smoke Shack's going forward. Thank you so much for watching today. Brand new episode next